either. So I just want to show you guys what I am up to. As you can see, these are my Lush soaps. And I am chopping them into pieces. <clears throat> I like doing this because then you can kind of, you know, like right now, obviously, I'm missing a piece out of my pumpkin soap. So that's the soap that I'm using right now. But then you don't have to use, like, the same soap for, you know, a huge amount of period of time. You can kind of go around. So I go, you know, if I want to use my pumpkin soap now, and then I go for my snow soap, or here's my Angel's Delight. So, you know, you can just chop them up into pieces. This one right here, if you guys are wondering, is my uh, Honey I Wash the Kids. So, yeah, all I do is I chop them up, and then I put them into little containers. And this is from Michael's. Sorry, my coffee table is totally dirty, but I figured I would do this before I clean it. And I actually got the lid with um, kind of like a suction cup. So the ones that won't let any moisture into them. Just because I'm going to be keeping these in my bathroom and I don't really want moisture to get into the soaps. Just because as you that... Um, you know, you guys that use Lush soaps, you'll know that they're quite soft. Like, they're, like, I mean, even touching it, it's kind of, like, creamy on your hands. So, yeah, all you need is a cutting board and a really crazy knife. This is my KitchenAid knife. Definitely, if you are one of my younger subscribers, get your parents to help you or at least them to supervise you. Um, because when you cut the uh, soaps, they actually stick really hard to the blade itself. So you kind of have to like pry them off and you have to be very careful. Always face the blade away from you, all that kind of stuff. So that is what I do to my soaps. So that is what it looks like with the soaps actually in the little jar. And I do have some soap left and what I do with those is I just go ahead and put it back into one of my Lush bags and then I put that into like my um, you know, towels and la or uh, linens and that kind of stuff closet, which it's actually, like, I mean, you could totally get bigger ones and fill these like crazy, but I kind of like putting them in the bag and then leaving it in my linen closet because then it kind of leaves a bit of a scent in there, like the all these scents together just kind of, I don't know, make my closet smell really pretty every time I open it. So here are my bubble bars, and I also like to do this cutting up process with my bubble bars. Uh, so these two right here are from the Christmas collection. This is my Ma bar. This is one of my favorite ones. Uh, this one, like depending on the size of them, is how many chunks I cut them into. So this one right here I cut into two. My Ma bar I like to also put into two pieces. This one I figured would work as three, and this one was huge, so I did it in four pieces. So there we have the jar with some bubble bars in it. And then they're just kind of on hand whenever, you know, they sit on my little... I don't know, stand that I have in my bathroom and they're just kind of there when I need them. And again, I have some bubble bar chunks left over. Um, when you cut bubble bars, you're going to end up with like little chunks like this because they crumble like crazy. See all this kind of stuff? And this may sound absolutely insane to you guys, but whatever's crumbled, like after I take these chunks and put them into a bag, um, I actually take another bag and I keep all these crumbles and then I will take the crumbles at the end that are left in this and I'll actually use it in one bath so it's kind of like a I don't know melded bubble bar like the bubble bars that I had all in there turned into one um, I've only done that twice now and I don't know whatever it's not really good it was kind of like a mixture of a little bit of everything but anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that, which you can do. Definitely, you know, if you don't want to be storing um, leftovers in other pots, you can buy bigger ones like this, or you can also just not buy as many things at once like I have done. Um, normally, I don't have this many, but because of the Christmas and Halloween collections, that's why I have an abundance. So anyways, that's just a fun, neat idea for you guys. And yeah, I will talk to you later. Bye.